Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Perez here once again and today I wanted to make you a quick video on Rogue Company. I have some thoughts on the beta, what I've played, some improvements that I want to see and I just wanted to throw it all together here in this video. Thanks for the support lately, it's been absolutely amazing. If you enjoy the video, you want to see more content like it, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff that you know what to do. And yeah, I'm just going to jump into it. Um, you're going to see in the background gameplay of me kind of popping off but not really fair because it is 4v3 in this game and that's one of the biggest issues that i've had in rogue company the gameplay feels really good the combat i think is really well done although sometimes i have problems with hit registration but that just might be my own bad aim so i don't know about that the characters feel great uh, i think some balance could come in the future but it is a beta so i'm not too pressed about that the gameplay is fun, not as serious as you might find in Valorant or CSGO, which I like. You can play competitive, you can play casual, quick play. It feels like it's going to be a good, solid, neutral game that's in between those extremely competitive eSport focused games and still have a competitive edge. But the big issues that I've had so far are AFK, uh, folks leaving the games, and loading into games with uh, one player down or even two players down at times. Now, they did institute quitter penalties, but I don't think they were harsh enough personally because I still saw people quit fairly often. They also uh, supposedly are going to be doing uh, uh, the ability to load into games in progress. From what I believe, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe I saw that. And yeah, I it's just uh, the AFK timer is too long, in my opinion. It's like a minute and a half to two minutes, and yeah, that's just way too long in a game that that goes this quickly. Once by the time that's over, then the person gets booted or whatever happens, the game is practically over. You're, you're not gonna come back in a three v four situation unless you have a three stack of players and you guys are all solid you know what i'm saying so that's really the problem i've loaded into five games uh yesterday when i was recording this and of them half two of them were uh 4v3s one on our advantage one on the enemy's advantage and either way it doesn't feel great like if we're winning a 4v3 congrats i guess it doesn't feel very worthwhile and then if you're losing a 3v4, it can be frustrating because it does snowball. And it just feels kind of hopeless. And I don't want to leave. I don't like leaving matches unless I absolutely have to. But sometimes you just can't help it. And that's the frustrating part for me is that there's no other option right now. There's no backfill as far as loading into games 4v3. Uh, maybe they can add something like Overwatch where if you load into a game that's undermanned or someone quits within the first 30 seconds, you can load into a new match and have a priority queue. Something like that absolutely needs to happen. And I hope it's at the top of their list because the 4v3s have been so prevalent that it's just absolutely deflated my enthusiasm for the game personally when that happens if i come in and i'm four stacked in the game i have so much fun if i load into games and it's even win lose or draw the game is a blast and i have fun every time but i cannot tell you when half of my games or close to it are undermanned or afk players in it or somebody leaving shortly after it starts it just completely deflates my sales with it so that's what is kind of holding me back a little bit on Rogue Company. I have done all the Meet the Rogues series. I've enjoyed testing out all the new characters that I unlock and can play as and try different things. So I'm still going to keep doing that. And I'm hopeful in the future that they are able to fix these things. Because that's going to be the biggest detriment to their game if they don't find a way to correct that pretty quickly. Because I have friends who I know who have played who stopped playing because of that. Let's talk about some positives, so since I don't like to be overly negative, it's not my thing. I'm not a negative person in general. But like I said, the gunplay feels really good. Uh, some of the guns are really crispy. The Maw, the LMG, you've got the Nightshade for Vi. Uh, the ARs are good, the SMGs are good, even the shotguns in the right hands. I'm not great with them, but in the right hands, the shotguns, one-tapping people feels amazing. So. 
there's a lot of good things about the game. The maps. Uh, some of the maps, at first, I was not a huge fan of. But there's a lot of flanking potential. A lot of movement ability. There's zip lines. So I've come around, especially now with the device map and everything. I think the maps, the maps are really well designed overall. And I am glad to see them expanding on those so quickly within the beta, which is awesome. The more maps they have, the more variety they have, the better. Um, they've already introduced one game mode uh, for a limited time that I thought was good. And I want to see more of. The more game modes they have rotating in and out, so that way they have limited queues and you don't want to spread your fan base too thin but if you have those queues uh low or if you have enough players to support it adding in other types of of, of battles basically uh different types of playlists i think will be important for keeping the game alive long term we'll also see a ranked down the line i think this game will really excel once you do get a ranked playlist and you people can't leave that's going to be huge if you leave you lose points and that's going to be a bigger detriment to people who are obviously not going to load into a match and leave if they're going to lose a bunch of points once they get past the first initial stages so depending on how ranked works i'm very excited to see how that is as well uh but that's gonna do it for me i'm gonna let you see the rest of the gameplay i kind of popped off again i wasn't really trying too hard i would say because i was 4v3 we were just kind of doing our own thing so i hope you enjoy the rest of the video thank you for liking commenting subscribing all that kind of good stuff i appreciate each and every one of you i hope you have a great day and i'll catch you later Reinforcements remaining. Defend it. Enemies are out of reinforcement. 